Raiders have a constant scorpion with our Sid SDR. Or it's SRD, isn't it? <laughs> and Scorpion. I'm going to start off by saying that this is easily the nicest firearm that I own and yes it is a 22 but it is still nonetheless a the nicest firearm that I own such the point that I keep it inside the case. It is a work gun but it's one of the few guns that I actually respect as a work gun and try to keep nice. So here we go. Inside the case uh, there's some Paperwork that I've gone ahead and stood behind, uh, certificate of authenticity, you know, all that sort of stuff, who made it, you know, who put it together, all that stuff. Uh, but these are the main pieces and parts. Obviously a barrel flag, right? Two magazines and the firearm, and then this tool we'll get to here in a second. This gun is offered in two different frames. This is the 1911 frame, and it's also offered in a Mark III frame. So that is gonna dictate which magazine the gun takes. These are 2245 magazines, uh, factory Ruger magazines, pretty easy uh, to source, not very expensive either, which is great. I have like seven of them on order. I'm waiting for them to come in as we speak. This gun has been here. Um, you'll see a few dings here and there from use. It's been here for a couple months now. And this thing is just, this is like literally my favorite gun to shoot. I have shot uh, well over 2,000 rounds of uh, 22 ammunition through this thing uh, just in passing. We're not even saying like I'm going to sit down and shoot this thing. Like it, it has literally gone to the range with me every single time I've gone to the range since I got it and I've shot a couple magazines through it. So <laughs> uh, it's gotten to the point where I actually started limiting the amount of ammunition that I brought with me to the range. But anyway, uh, speaking of or the range, we're gonna shoot a little bit more here in a second, but before we do, I just kinda wanted to highlight a few things that we got going on here. This is their nickel boron battle-worn uh, finish. This, uh, so, you know, their guns are offered in a variety of different finishes, uh, everything from, you know, black, to camos to what you see here and this I really enjoy this uh, finish I think this thing makes this really highlights this gun now uh, we mentioned uh, 2245 magazines they are 10 round magazines and how they operate we'll just go ahead and load one real quick uh, since we're gonna go to the range here in a second there is a pull tab right here just like you would see uh, in a lot of 22 magazines is a single stack magazine holds 10 you just you pull down on that thing and drop that round in right like that Uh, this gun has not been very picky on ammo at all. Um, it, it hits with some authority. Um, it's I've not really had major problems uh, with ammunition, uh, but I have been shooting a lot of this uh, this Norma Tac 22 uh, because it is subsonic. And this is the whole reason we procured this gun was as a suppressor host uh, for our 22 silencers that we're doing this year. Uh, because the Mark III that we were using, even though it was the tactical model with the threaded barrel, uh, Ruger's idea of uh, making a gun ready for suppression is to thread the barrel. And it's a little bit more complicated than that, and this gun addresses several of the issues. So, uh, controls. So let's just look at this real quick. First thing from the bottom up, magazines go right in like this. Click, magazine release. As you can see right there, now they do come out uh, relatively easy when they're empty. They stick a little bit when they're when they're full. So there's a good indicator right there. Uh, if you're if you press the magazine release and the magazine does not immediately come out, it's probably got some more ammunition in it. You might have a malfunction. 
this right here is the bolt release. And this is one of my gripes actually uh, on the design is you cannot actually slingshot the uh, the bolt. This is what it'll look like after it after it runs out of ammunition. Uh, the bolt will lock to the rear, but you can't just pull on this and let it drop. You actually have to hit the bolt release and it'll send it forward, strip a new round off. Also, while we're here, safety on the grip in the same position any 1911 would have it. So. Uh, that is a carrier from the 1911. As you can see, it's got an integral rail on the top, uh, right here, an integral Picatinny rail uh, for your optics. It did come dovetailed and sights installed on this thing, so this one's got a serrated blacked out uh, front and rear, and I asked them to put that on there because uh, I'm going to have a bunch of different optics on this thing uh, throughout its life as well. Uh, Another rail on the bottom for any accessories that you uh, that you want to throw on there, like this TLR VIR right there. Uh, if you want to throw like a weapons light on there, pretty simple. Oops, pretty simple to do so, right like that. Um, that actually looks halfway sharp. We might do a series on uh, on this thing being like an assassin pistol type thing with a silencer on it. Speaking of a silencer, let me go ahead and get this thing off. Uh, also, real quick, if you see here, these bolts are removable, and this Picatinny rail can come right off the bottom. This accessory rail can be removed if you don't want the weight on there or anything like that. It can come off. Now, for attaching a silencer, this brake is awesome. It works really great, uh, but the brake itself does not thread on. This ring here actually threads on, and that's what this little tool here is for. Now, you can see that I've already bent it. Uh, from uh, using it repeatedly, but the way it works is you insert it into one of these holes and you simply start spinning. And this ring spins. Notice the brake is starting to loosen up. Usually I keep this thing about finger tight because I use it for a lot of suppressor testing. I'm trying to do this one handed. And then after a certain point, you're going to get to it and the whole brake can be spun off and you're going to reveal some half by 28 threads. This is what you're going to see just about any 22 uh, pistol or rifle is going to be half by 28 threaded. So you can attach any silencer that you want there. So that's a quick overview of the features of the Volkhorsten Scorpion. We're going to go ahead, get some of this ammo loaded up and do some shooting. I don't like the way they come in at an angle. Yeah. Ah, the training takes over. Got to push the button. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think of the gun after about, what, five, six magazines? I like it. She's really nice. Yeah, she's really flat. Yeah. I have an issue with putting the mag in because I want to go straight in the gun. So, I've been having issues with that other yeah. than that. It is not that a nine millimeter double stack, that is for sure. That and my thumb, the way my thumb is, my thumb's so short, I have to, if I wanna hit the side release, I have to come up and actually hit it with this thumb because <laughs> my thumb's too short, can't reach. Barely, I can barely even kiss the side of it. So I, I gotcha. have to come in here and actually hit it up. How's the trigger working for you? We metered that thing at a pound. <laughs> it's so smooth, like you barely even touch it. It's ready to go. And it, go and it goes, it's, mm -hmm. uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna name names, but uh, one of the guys that was out here shooting it uh, wasn't quite ready for it to go off. He obeyed the four rules of firearm safety, but as soon as he touched it, uh, he was ready for his M and P trigger, and it was not an M and P trigger. That's a nice little gun. I really love the finish on this gun. It just looks badass. Yeah, it's their. Uh, what's it say on the side? It's on the left side of the gun. It's nickel boron battle worn. I think. Yeah, nickel worn, battle worn, patent pending. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. <laughs> battle yeah. worn, patent pending. Yeah, I like that. All right, well, you know what I think we do next? Uh, I think we're going to throw a silencer on it and uh, and do some hearing protection less Oops. shooting. Cool. Okay. We've got the Volkhortzen Scorpion and we just attached the SIG SRD. Mag's not all the way inserted. Oh. 
Suppress fun shooting. <laughs> suppress shooting is always better. That is ridiculous. It's always better suppressed. Yeah. Yep. That is ridiculous. Dude. Oh, by the way, you missed one. Yeah. I can see where I hit it, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you miss that wide? Wow. Yeah. What do you think? It's just fun. Yeah. You see anything that jumps out at you? What? First time shooting this? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you got three mags through it now. Well, the one thing I've noticed more than anything else is this thing here. Yeah. It you'll... looks awkward, but... It's easy to catch. Yeah, it is. It's better than a Mark III thing on the back, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, and I've noticed the, the bolt. Yeah. Real smooth. Yeah, real yeah. shiny. I don't know what that finish is on that, on that, uh, on the charging handle and, and bolt assembly, right. but it's slick. It doesn't require a lot of lube. No. You know? Yeah. Yep. How about the trigger? What do you got to say about that? It's a pound, right? Right about a pound. Yeah, that's what we metered for that. I was gonna. I was gonna. I didn't know. I told you that. I was gonna wait to yeah. see what your guesstimation was. But yeah, it's a pound. It's nice. Yeah. I mean, you, I mean, at this distance here, you're pretty well just pointing and shooting. So it's nice. Yeah. It needs a dot. I'm gonna put a dot on it. And you got this nice big fat rail right on top, ready for it. Yeah. And then I need a laser. A laser, silencer. a light, and a can. Yeah. <laughs> True assassin pistol. If you guys are interested in seeing an assassin pistol video, uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, we might do that because it's the perfect host for it. All right, guys. Instead of sitting here punching, uh, you know, one ragged hole in a bunch of paper, which we know this gun could do, we're going to see how easy it is to shoot at different ranges. I got a steel target right over here at 25 yards. We're gonna run a mag, see what we do. Okay, 25 yards is good. Okay guys, now at 50 yards, there's a target down there at 50 yards against the berm. Here we go. Once I figured out the hold, pretty much uh, automatic. Let's move out a little bit farther. All right, so, so most of this is probably gonna be shooter ability. Uh, I have no idea where to aim on this target, so we'll see where we can do. 100 yards. There goes nothing. What? First shot, are you serious? <laughs> I got a couple, but clearly the gun's capable. I think it's all up here and down here. Shooter's not doing the job. All right, guys, so uh, I'm gonna kill me some fight soap here right quick. I think we found our new ballistic medium. Forget that ballistics gel stuff, fight soap. That's all you need. Just a couple blocks of fight soap. It's just soap. 
All right, everybody. That was our look at the Volkhorsten Scorpion 22 long rifle pistol. This was just a fun video to make. That's the, there's no other way to state it. I got to do a lot of shooting. The guys got to do a lot of shooting on the cheap uh, with this gun over the course of several months, as you can tell in the video. And it's just a fun shooter. To recap, the whole reason that this gun is here is as a host for our suppressor testing program. We're gonna be using it on a lot of different silencers. Mainly it's here for the 22 silencers, but we'll use it for a lot of other, other things. And you probably have already seen a few of them thus far. If you are looking to silence guns, in your top three should be a 300 blackout rifle, a nine millimeter SBR, and a 22 pistol. Those are the three that you gotta have, and I highly, highly suggest that if you are looking for a 22 host, that the Volkhorsten Scorpion be on your list of considerations. All that said, if you guys found this video informative and entertaining, please hit that like button down below. If you think that we earned your subscription here today, please hit that subscribe button, as well as share it around. Maybe your friends will enjoy it as well. Thanks for watching the VSO Gun Channel. Maybe we'll see you guys on a future video. and scorpion with your SIG SRD. Oh. <laughs>